a parenting magazine owned by Mother Kill has been forced to apologize after publishing a joke about low breastfeeding statistics. That provoked a flurry of criticism. Gurgle magazine cited research that suggests fewer than 1% of UK mums are still breastfeeding at the recommended 12-month mark. And added the caption, hands up who's unduly alarmed by this, nope us neither. It prompted Lactivist, a campaign group that works to normalize breastfeeding to brand Gurgle irresponsible for brushing off the low rate, which it said was an issue a baby and parenting magazine should be greatly concerned about. After Lactivist shared a picture of the article and an open letter to the magazine expressing their disappointment with its Facebook followers. Gurgle posted online apologizing for any offense caused. It denied any suggestion the magazine was anti-breastfeeding. The open letter from Lactivist had described being saddened by the article. Clearly your staff don't care about the product they are producing. As a baby magazine you have the highest form of trust put in your words on each and every page of your publication. Mothers slash parents slash grandparents etc. all read your magazine I'm sure. They will read thinking you are an insight to the real world of parenting. I hear parents echo ha ha here as often it's nowhere near as glossy as the pages of magazines like yours. This statistic should be something you are greatly concerned about. Not something to brush off. Explaining that an increasing number of babies are being hospitalized due to an allergy to breast milk. Lactivist expressed their disappointment that Gurgle weren't doing more to encourage breastfeeding. The post was shared hundreds of times and prompted a flood of comments from shocked mums. Really poor taste, bad show, casts doubt on the integrity and reliability of the entire publication. One parent wrote, I'm still breastfeeding my almost 11-month-old and I'd be happy to help them with a more positive and helpful article. Another added, a third wrote, this is completely appalling and you should be ashamed. More so you should certainly care that as a nation mothers are not adequately supported to make the choice to breastfeed. Many of whom would if the support was available. The benefits for mother and child are still being discovered as there are so many and mothers need to know that people do care. Not question why so few manage to do it up to 12 months which this statement alludes to. Following the criticism, Gurgle took to their Facebook to apologize to readers, writing, Thank you for all your fast feedback on the breastfeeding statistic. Gurgle has, and always will, fully support breastfeeding so we were shocked but not entirely surprised by the 1% stat. Encouraging mums to breastfeed their babies for as long as they are able to is part of Gurgle's DNA but we also accept that some mums just don't reach that 12-month marker. If that didn't come across in the positive spirit that it was intended then please accept our apologies for any offence caused. As that was not our intention, the post said, in a statement to female, Gurgle said, Gurgle always aims to send positive parenting messages to mums, which includes among other things, positive breastfeeding advice and support. The point we had intended to make was that we were not surprised that so few mums are breastfeeding at 12 months given the lack of resource and support for those who wanted to start let alone continue their breastfeeding journey. Despite the World Health Organization, WHO, recommendation to breastfeed to two plus years, the NHS states once they are eating solid your baby will still need to have breast milk or formula as their main drink. Up to at least their first birthday, whatever views are on the subject this statement sends a message to UK mums that if you are breastfeeding your baby, 12 months is an acceptable market to aim for, and when you consider the pressures that many mums face, including returning to work, it's not surprising that the large majority don't continue to breastfeed for longer. Gurgle applauds mums who continue to full-term breastfeeding, but also respects the many and varied reasons why others do not, if nothing else. Online comments have highlighted some important issues that are worth exploring further and that can only be a good thing. We appreciate that many have interpreted the comment as anti-breastfeeding. But that was never the intention and Gurgle has since apologized for any offense caused. Gurgle is, and always will be, fully supportive of our broad parenting community, which is why so much of our print and online content is centered around breastfeeding and other real mum experiences. Ultimately, Gurgle exists to support all new mums, whatever their parenting choices empowering them with the knowledge and confidence to trust their own instincts and do what is right for themselves and their babies. Tell me where the freaks at.